Hello everyone. I am Divarani Pandran Baba, working as an assistant professor at AISMS IIT Pune. Today we will discuss what are the levels of management. See, this figure shows the various levels of management. Now, the term levels of management refers to a line of demarcation between various managerial positions in an organization. So the number of levels in management increases when the size of the business and workforce increases and vice versa. So the level of management determines a chain of command, the amount of authority and status enjoyed by any managerial position. So the levels of management can be classified in three broad categories. First one is the top level or we can say administrative level. Second one is middle level or executive level. Third one is low level or supervisory level or operative level or first line managers. First we will see top level of management. So it consists of board of directors, chief executives or managing directors. The top management is the ultimate source of authority and it manages some goals and policies for enterprise. It devotes some more time on planning and coordinating some kind of a functions. So there are some role of the top management. That means top management lays down the objectives and broad policies of the enterprise. It issues necessary instructions for preparation of department budgets, procedures and schedules. It prepares some strategic plans and policies for the enterprise. It appoints the executive for middle level, that means departmental managers. It controls and coordinates the activities of all the departments. It is also responsible for maintaining a contact with the outside world. It provides some guidance and directions. So the top level management is also responsible towards the shareholders for the performance of the enterprises. Next is the middle level of management. So the branch managers and departmental managers constitute middle level. So they are responsible to the top management for the functioning of their department. They devote more time to organizational and directional functions. So in small organization, there is only one layer of middle level of management. But in big enterprises, there may be senior and junior middle level management. So their roles are they execute the plans of the organization. They make some plans for the subunits of the organization. They participate in employment and training of lower level management. They interpret and explain policies from top level management. They evaluate performance of junior managers. Next level is low level of management. So low level is also known as supervisory or operative level of management. So it consists of some supervisors, foreman, section officers, etc. According to R.C. Davis, supervisory management refers to those executives whose work has to be largely with personal oversight. Or in other words, they are concerned with direction and controlling function of management. So their activities include assigning of jobs and tasks to various workers. They guide and instruct workers for day-to-day -day activities. They are responsible for the quality as well as quantity of production. They are also communicate workers problems, suggestions. They help to solve some grievances of the workers. They supervise and guide the subordinates. They are responsible for providing training to the workers. They arrange some necessary materials, machines, tools for getting the things done. They prepare some reports about the performance of the workers. They ensure discipline in the enterprise. They motivate workers. 
they are the image builders of the enterprise because they are in direct contact with the workers so this is all about the levels of management